Okay. Okay. Uh, let me explain to you how the uh, whole kit, how this wiring goes. This is the amplifier only for those car with Bermester sound system. If your car don't have Bermester sound system, ignore this portion. Okay. And uh, let's start from the beginning. Huh? This is the module we need to install. Usually install inside your, uh, you know, the dashboard. So which is easy access to you. Okay, both side. Got two connector, uh, three connectors. One is a main. The other one is two uh, USB pipe. Like this one. This is a Fakra connector. Okay, like this one. Okay, so. Once you get everything, it will not be in this order, so you need to plug everything in. This connector is very easy to recognize, right? Connect here, then plug in, like this way. Okay, this one, there's nothing here. You need to take out the original connector from your, behind your old instrument cluster, then plug in here. Okay, and this one, no use. And uh, this connector goes to the new instrument cluster, like this way okay so this is a new instrument cluster so we plug in yeah i need to push in huh? you can you can hear that well this this catcher will be then you cannot pull huh? this one is the this the purpose of this cable is for display the map into your instrument cluster okay this is for header display if your car have header display uh just connect here if you don't, then leave it open. Okay, now we move to this portion of the head unit and the display. Remove your display power connector, then plug into the new display. Okay, this is a touch screen one. And the other one is the video signal from the head unit. This one will come in from this port. Okay, this is the for display in the MBX video. You plug in. Okay, push in. Huh? Let, let's go to this uh, head unit part and the display. Okay, so this is the display cable, and uh, this one is for the uh, uh, picture in picture goes to the uh, uh, instrument cluster. So you can see the map view from this uh, instrument cluster. And uh, this is the USB port. The USB port. We plug in here, pull, push in. Okay. Then this cable goes to the USB port because your two normal USB port will go uh, change to the Type C type. Okay, this is support the Apple CarPlay, and uh, be careful. There's a one cable here. Okay, this cable goes to this this bl blue cable goes to the main connector over here. Okay, actually, basically, it's going to the head unit. So we need to know. Uh, we need to unplug it because when you get this cable or uh, maybe this connector is uh, uh, yeah, Like this way, so we need to plug in huh? plug in fully and uh, this one is the main connector of this uh, MBX Okay, like this you plug in in this way then pull this catcher lock it and uh, this connector will connect the uh, your old head unit Quad lock goes here, okay. Female, female, uh, male, and uh, this one I also connect it. So later I'll give you a uh, full image. And uh, be careful about this. This is the cam bus to the head unit to the MBX. Okay, we need to connect it like this. We also type uh, have a sticker saying uh, can can. So you just connect that like this way. Anything else? Yeah, this one. If your car comes with a reverse camera, this is a RVC, huh? come with a reverse camera or th uh, 360 degree camera, you need to take out the old connector from your old head unit, then connect here. Okay, and uh, there's another cable over here. You can see. Okay, this is uh, for the reverse camera basically. The old reverse camera image will go into this module, then send the video signal to the new MBX in this blue connector okay you can take a look this is a blue connector okay this is a reverse camera input for the MBX going 
and uh, for uh, this one already explained to you this is the EMOS port okay we'll push the amplifier to the all the speakers okay this one uh, cable goes to the, and if you have the Bemester sound system plug back the old uh, main connector from your old uh, Bemester amplifier then plug here then remove those uh, MOS cable then uh, plug in this one okay uh, in terms of uh, in terms of this other port which is open now uh, so we take a look this one is for the GPS antenna so you need to remove it from the old connector plug in here white color this is uh, for radio and uh, this one is for the TV but which is not used now. this is no use these two need to connect and uh, this is a wireless line uh, called Wi-Fi antenna this is a Bluetooth antenna and uh, these two are for the yeah these two no use these two no use okay this is for bluetooth so bluetooth telephone uh, uh, antenna this is for the uh, uh, wireless antenna you don't need to use this one need this one no need okay okay one one last thing is this obd port okay this cable is coming from the uh, adapter okay like this way it's a gray and a gray white color so the gray color will go to the obd 14. this gray white color will go to the obd 6. so you need to find the obd port which has uh, uh 16 uh pings so we need to tap the wire onto these two pings one number uh, six and a number 14. okay that's it thank you bye bye okay